Today I'll be tasting some non-alcoholic gin. Hi guys, girls and friends, my name is Aston from Miami with all my love, passion and energy to you, to the world. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be tasting and making cocktails with non-alcoholic gin. Recently I got this present, Monday Gin, and I'm always excited to taste some non-alcoholic spirits, if we can call them spirits because it's a new category that's rising that's how i could say because three four or even five years ago i don't believe there was any and today we can see many appearing in the market some are good some are not so good it's a new trend it's a new market it's a new drink and uh, i'm very excited to try this one you can see i haven't tried it yet it's still sealed it's still not broken not open and I didn't have any other bottle of the same product to test before. So, let's open this interesting bottle and let's taste what's inside. The bottle looks very nice. I could say, I, I like how it looks, you can see. It's probably depends on the person's taste, but for me it's beautiful, it looks beautiful. And the first thing that I've already noticed is that this gin is not very solid. It's a little bit white let's say it looks like um, a rocky already with an ice when it's already a bit cloudy so it's interesting why it's like that it's of course it's probably not uh, something bad happened to this gin it's just meant to be like that but it's a very interesting uh, solution let's see what's inside <laughs> and I'm open. I feel juniper, but maybe it's more like pine, more like pine than a juniper. And it feels a bit like lemon as well. like a lemonade, like a lemon and lemonade it's a white kind of smell and now the tasting yeah so it's a bit cloudy it doesn't come in solid form like uh, solid uh, spirit let's taste I'm very excited Very interesting. Okay, it's very unexpected. Then I just took the first sip. For a milli millisecond, I thought that where is the flavor? Where is everything? It was like nothing for very, very, very small amount of time. But when it kicked, when it kicked like something that still tickles my throat very intense flavor of um, jun not juniper it's more like pine it's more like uh, it's how i feel it it tickles your throat for sure like a ginger kind of ginger tickle it's not like a pepper or something that's nice because it makes you feel something that's what it's always missing in non-alcoholic drinks and uh, the feeling when you know you, you just drink a sip and you feel like oh yeah so this drink definitely has it I can feel this tickle it's very nice I can feel this tickle and what I like about this gin is that I it's very gin flavor uh, forward because what I tasted before not all of them was gin taste forward and gin that I have in mind like juniper or pine taste that's what is gin about for me and this one does it definitely has it even now after taste everything what is left in my mouth is this it, it's like I, I, I took the spike of the pine and tried to eat it it's something like that uh, Maybe you're not a fan of that, but that's what I like in gin. This 
fine kind of flavor so this is very nice uh, let's do a little bit more I, I think it's never too much of this gin <laughs> yeah it's very unexpected the smell and the taste is different that's very interesting because smell is more lemony more like lemonade you expect more like a lemonade and when you drink you get this bitterness as well I feel bitterness now it's nice it's very nice flavor it's very nice done definitely and it still has this tickle okay cool and now we have to move to the cocktails because one thing is to taste the drink and another thing is to see how it reflects how it opens and shows itself in a cocktail and of course the first one is going to be gin tonic because gin tonic is the king of gin cocktails and if you haven't seen my alcoholic versions of gin tonic i can't say that very loud in this video <laughs> it's not alcoholic so just check this link and we are going to make now a gin tonic and to see if non-alcoholic gin tonic is as good as alcoholic gin tonic and here we come to our first drink, first non-alcoholic drink, very famous gin tonic with this non-alcoholic Monday gin. I'm really excited to taste because this is really a very interesting drink and I would really like to see how it opens in gin tonic because gin tonic is a cocktail to test the gin. So let's do it. First thing we have to put the ice, let's do it a magic way. And two ounces of Monday non-alcoholic gin or maybe I will even put three ounces because it's not alcoholic <laughs> so it's not going to be too strong as you know my favorite balance is one to two or one to two and a half but the non-alcoholic it might be different i might do half and half and tonic water there is a lot of tonics in the market so it's your choice okay so it's more half and half and i won't put any garnish to this or maybe i'll put just a little dehydrated lime wheel so it won't change the flavor too much because I would like to taste a very raw gin tonic so I'll put it just to look nice and now I will taste this gin tonic hmm. it's very good it opens itself I can still feel that pine or juniper but it's pine more for me coming through the tonic so tonic doesn't kill the taste and that's very nice and it really plays very well in gin tonic you can drink this and you know by drinking this non-alcoholic gin you can say that it's not alcoholic even it tickles your throat but you can say but by drinking this gin tonic made with this Monday non-alcoholic gin it's more difficult to distinguish if it's non-alcoholic or if it's low alcoholic drink because it really gives you a very nice gin flavor inside all the drink and all the cocktail definitely does so i would really say that gin tonic with this Monday gin is really really nice let's move on to another cocktail and the second cocktail that we are going to test with this non-alcoholic gin is uh, going to be Cheeky Cherry Tin. And this is a cocktail that I found on their website and that attracted me because it said that you have to hard shake the cocktail for 30 to 40 seconds. And hard shaking cocktail for 30 to 40 seconds is really a workout. So I'm seeing these guys want you to really be fit. So we took out the alcohol from the alcohol and they also give you some exercises to do. I never shake the cocktail like that. So I will do it in this video right now. So let's do the cocktail. I will twist it a bit in my way. So I'll present it not to martini glass, but just to double raw glass. And what we have to put everything in the shaker. And the recipe specifies for two ounces for Monday, non-alcoholic, spirit free but full of spirit gin
three fourths of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And just a tiny bit of grenadine, one fourth of an ounce. And this is a homemade grenadine and how to make it, you can check the link right here. One fourth of an ounce. Okay, maybe I put a little bit more. And chickpea water. They say it's one egg white, but I don't use egg white because you know, if you are not rocky, you don't need to use egg white. So I'm using chickpea water, aquafaba. I'm using like two thirds of an ounce of it. Now we need a nice, let's do it magic way. And put love, passion and energy as well. And now 30 to 40 seconds of our shake. Let's give it a timer. So you will see that I'm not cheating. Here we go. You can see the timer. 30 to 40 seconds of hard shake. Let's start. That really makes you stay in fit, in shape, I mean. <sighs> Monday, I love you. You make me stay sober and stay in shape. <sighs> oh my God. Never shake the cocktail for 40 seconds. A hard shake. Actually, it wasn't the hard shake yet. It was like medium to hard shake. <laughs> All right. And by the way guys, if you want to see even more amazing shakes, just check this link and you will see some more crazy and amazing shakes. Okay, let's strain everything to the glass. It looks very nice. Reddish because of my amazing homemade grenadine. The foam is beautiful. You see it's shaked very well. You can't shake bad if you shake for 30 to 40 seconds. It's guys, looks very nice. Let's put some ice and let's garnish this cocktail because it's called cherry thingy. So let's make it a bit cherry. So I'm taking one cocktail cherry and putting it on the cocktail. It looks very nice and you see it's very beautiful color and now is the tasting time. Oh, smells sweet. Let's taste. Very nice, sour. I expected it to be sweeter because of the smell. But now I remember I put just one fourth of an ounce of grenadine, so it can't be very sweet. So, it's sour, of course. And this version is more sour, sour. You know, I love a bit sweet, a bit sweeter sours. So I would put a bit more grenade into this cocktail to make it my version, but I wanted to make it, the version is written there. And I wanted to shake it really well, as they say. Whoo, guys, I'm really staying in shape. Thank you very much, that's very good. And I still feel this gin inside the cocktail. It comes through all other things, from through a sour, from a grenadine. I still feel that pine that I like in gins and what I like in this non-alcoholic gin. It's very nice non-alcoholic cocktail and you see it looks very beautiful and you can serve it either in your bar or you can serve it to your friends at home. It will really look very nice, very stylish, very real cocktail. You know, not just some kind of juice and a multivitamin cocktail. It's really nice non-alcoholic cocktail. So my final verdict would be that I really approve this gin. I really like it. This is a very nice flavor. I, I really recommend it for non-alcoholic cocktails and it goes to my approbation. 
Thank you very much, Monday, for sending me this gift. I really like your gin. This is a very nice non-alcoholic approach and this is a very nice non-alcoholic alternative to people who would still love to have a very nice drink. And this is a very nice thing for bartenders because when you're doing cocktails with like that kind of spirits, you still feel that you're making a real cocktail. You still do everything in that magic way what the bartenders do. So thank you very much and guys, if you don't drink alcohol, there is a lot of alternatives to you. So, smile and enjoy your life. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it very interesting to know some things about non-alcoholic spirits. And I really encourage you to try them because they are very nice, they are very interesting. Of course, you can drink just water and that's totally fine. That's what I always say to people. If you don't drink, drink water. That's cool, that's the best drink ever. But if you want some nice cocktail and to make it a nice, like a real bartender style and for bartenders to really feel a bartender by making drinks and non-alcoholic spirits, so we, you really can do it nowadays because we are having these amazing drinks and we are having more and more appearing on the market. So just stay open, don't close your eyes, stay open, wide-minded and you can be a really good non-alcoholic bartender. That could be a new thing, you know, maybe there are but I haven't met them yet. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Give me some support. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, share with your friends who don't drink alcohol and be thought that they would never have this bar experience. Now they really can. And thank you very much and I see you in the next video.